Hello and a very warm welcome. A match reaction. Haven't done one of these in a while. I don't know how this is going to go. Manchester United hammered, destroyed and mullered at home with 39% of the ball. Outplayed, outclassed by Ange and Tottenham Hotspur. Ange has cooked Eric Ten Hag. Eric Ten Hag has to go. When's the cut-off point here? People still Ten Hag in are absolutely clueless. When is the cut-off point? We are 12th in the league. We finished 8th last year and we are 12th in the league. I mean, it's absolutely embarrassing. We got absolutely destroyed by Tottenham Hotspur yesterday. And it's lucky that Timo Werner can't finish because it should have been 6 or 7 if we're being real. And anyone, anyone says, oh, the red card changed the game. It's a process. The red card changed the game. Did you not watch the game? We were getting battered with 11 men. And it's like playing with 10 men anyway with Bruno Fernandes. Captain Cockroach, down the tunnel, early shower, bollocks between his legs, useless. Ange, brilliant. Ange Ball, brilliant. I mean, the first goal, honestly, the first goal. It is crazy. Marcus Rashford, touch of the trampoline. Instead of smashing into Van de Ven, just lets him go. And then Van de Ven, literally the freedom of Old Trafford, no one puts a tackle in. Put a tackle in. Put a tackle in. None. Three of them. Three of them. No one put a tackle in. He squares it to Johnson. And that's 1-0. And then Bruno gets sent off. It didn't change the game at all. Because, like I said, if Timo Werner could finish, it would have been a cricket score. Should have been a cricket score. But Tottenham are clinical. And that's why it was only 3-0. But they fully deserve to win. Straight after half-time as well. I mean, you, Ten Hag, keep it nice and tight. Two minutes in. Kuliskeski scores. And then Dominic Solanke makes it three. It was disgusting. Absolutely disgusting performance. Um, yeah, it's not good enough. Where's the standards gone for this great football club? It's normal now that we get hammered, battered, played off the park. My missus literally said, why do you even bother watching it? And I have to agree. I mean, I watch it, then I get annoyed. And then I, I'm doing a video. I've not done a match reaction in ages because I've lost a passion for football. Manchester United are absolutely dog shit. I will support them no matter what, but they are dog shit. There is absolute embarrassment. Ineos will change it. Oh, everyone hyped on the Ineos bandwagon. The biggest decision they had was to sack Ten Hag and they bottled their first big call. Amazing. Rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. And you've got people saying we've got good players. Where? Where? I see Kobe Mino. I'll build a team around him. But the rest of them, Ahmad, Ahmad should be starting every day of the week. He doesn't start because of Rashford. No. Garnacho, I've got to say, he ran his socks off yesterday. And Onana actually kept the score down. But it's humiliation. Look at that. Manchester United, six games in, seven points, minus three goal difference, lying 12th in the league. I mean, it's absolutely embarrassing. I mean, we're only three points ahead of Everton. Everton, who have had the, like one of the worst starts ever. And he's just breaking record after record, unwanted records. And the club have come out and basically said, we're going to stick with Ten Hag. Let him have uh, Porto and Aston Villa. Oh, my God. Manchester United expected to stick with Ten Hag as manager. What the fuck, man? Holy shit. Joint worst Premier League start, and they want to keep this manager on. Ineos will change it, they said. What a load of monumental bullshit. Manchester United, seven points, are the club's joint fewest after six games. Only in 2007-8 season have United scored fewer goals. United have lost consecutive Premier League matches without scoring at Old Trafford for the first time since November 21, in what were Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's final two home games. United have now lost more Premier League matches, but three or more goals since Sir Alex left the club. So in Alex's time... 22 and we've already broken that in 424 games and Alex Ferguson was here at 1035 honestly it was humiliation Tottenham were toying with man Olays Olays anyone comes to Old Trafford now we're having an Olay party 
get your feet in, man. Hit them. I mean, Van der Ven, when he went through, I mean, that it literally sums the club up in a nutshell. So soft. We'll kiss our countrymen in the tunnel. Love bites and a lot. Oh, gives a cuddle because you're from the same country as me. Look straight down the tunnel. Don't engage. I mean, but no, it's soft nowadays. And that's one main reason I've lost passion for football. It's soft. We have literally VAR windmill. And yeah, the referees should come out and do an interview. They don't. Um, yeah, it's normal now for Manchester United to be rubbish. Um, no one can have any complaints. The club have to sack Ten Hag. There always comes a point with a manager and he has to go. I mean, eighth place was an utter failure last season. The two trophies he's won are literally just paper in the cracks. You honestly think this team are going to win trophies? We, apparently, we've won two trophies. Surely that should gel the team together. Look at the passing yesterday. Passing. Honestly, you th would have thought United, they'd never played together. The amount of sloppy passes. And people will blame 10 men. We were getting battered with 11 men. Um, yeah, it was humiliation. And you've got to give credit to Spurs. They came out with a game plan. Ange Ball on Old Trafford. Domination job. Good night. Um, leaky defence. I mean, they were so poor yesterday. De Ligt was atrocious. Matsurui wasn't much better. Really poor. Bruno. I mean, it, that is typical. He's the captain. He replicates the club. Passion. Adrenaline. Fight for the badge. He's never been a captain. He's never been a captain. He's a coward. He's a cockroach. Um, yeah. And I won't be surprised if he got sent off deliberately because he knows United were getting hammered. He's, he is the biggest fraud captain I've ever seen. He is a fraud Bruno Fernandes. Um, yeah. I don't know. It's very disappointing supporting this club. I mean, you turn the game on, you basically know what's going to happen. United are going to get destroyed. You honestly think they're going to be Aston Villa playing like that? It's embarrassing. 39% of the ball at home. We should be on the front foot at home, dominating proceedings. The fans paying their hard-earned money to watch shit. It's not acceptable. But now we don't have standards because apparently the players we have are really good. Um, they're not. Um, they're shit. It's just accepted now because the standards are so low at the football club. Never... Ten years ago, would you accept that front three of Rashford, Garnacho, and whoever's going up front, Xerxes or Hoyland? Just flop signing after flop signing, and we'll repeat the cycle. Manchester United, they hire a manager. They'll give him half a million, a billion to spend. It'll all be rosy in the garden. Maybe a couple of trophies along the way. And then it goes tits up, like it has done for Van Gaal, Mourinho, Moyes, Solskjaer. And they, they follow. And then repeat the cycle again. Hire a new manager. Give them a billion pounds to spend. Spend it on absolute flop signing. Shit. And keep going with the cycle. And that is Manchester United in a nutshell. Ineos haven't made a world bit of difference. They bottled the biggest decision in sacking this manager last season. It's a theme nowadays. You cling on. Rewarding failure. And Ten Hag will pay the price. He will eventually get sacked this season. It's just a matter of when. But they reward failure by not sacking him in the first place. And they'll end up doing it. And it's fucked our season. And then they'll put some PR bollocks about. We go next year. Um, yeah. Give it um, Rude Van Nistelrooy. He can't do any worse. Um, yeah. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Absolute dog shit. Dog shit. No passion, no aggression, no fight. Uh, just no discipline as well. The amount of yellow cards we got yesterday was alarming to say the least. Thanks for watching. Comment down below your thoughts. Adios.